Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. Um, this video is directed at my friend, a uh, fellow streamer, The Jank. Um, earlier today, he was asking me, how do you uh, basically make a channel reward that uh, produces random results, where in this case, the random results were just different possible uh, notifications. Um, when he first asked me, I didn't know how to do it, and I was curious about it, so I tried to figure it out, and so this is a demo of how to do it. So I'm going to click on the top left menu here. I'm going to go to channel points. Now this is not just for channel points. This is applicable wherever conditionals and special identifiers can be used, but in this case we're going to be making a channel points reward that performs uh, this function. Okay, so I'm going to go to the bottom here, uh, click on Create Channel Points Reward. I've already made it. I call it RNG Alert. I'm going to click on the pencil on the right side here to edit the command. And then we have a special identifier and three conditionals. Okay, so um, Mix It Up already comes with some predefined uh, special identifiers. If I click on Conditional here, you'll see this link that goes to the special identifiers reference. I'm gonna pull another window and show you that real quick. Uh, okay, let's go to the top. So here is a list of all of the special identifiers that you can use, the predefined special identifiers. And the one that I was originally gonna use was random, but then I figured out that's actually not gonna work. And I'll tell you why. So I was gonna use this uh, dollar sign random number and then a number where that number is like in my case three because we have three possible outcomes and what that'll do is actually in each conditional this random number three is going to be called and it's going to produce a different number for each conditional so that means what's possible is that in the first conditional it could produce one and in the second conditional it can produce it can produce two when pulling a random number. And the reason why that's bad is because that means we could have, in my case, two sounds play at the same time when we only want one sound to play at a time. What's also possible is that on conditional one, we get a two, on conditional two, we get a three, and on conditional three, we get a two. And because these are looking for like one, two, and three for each of those conditionals, that would mean nothing would play. And we also do not want that to happen. And so that's why we're not going to use dollar sign random number. Instead, what we're gonna do, sorry, let me just close these. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to make a special identifier. So Mix It Up allows you to do that. If you go to the bottom here, there's a drop down. Click on the drop down. You're gonna look for a special identifier. It's right here. Click on that, hit the plus sign and put it at the top here. And then over here is where you name your special identifier, whatever you want. For my case, I called it some number. And then over here, uh, this can take numbers, it can take text, it can take um, uh, functions. Um, in order to know which functions it can take, uh, you should look at uh, this website. I'm gonna go back for a second. Okay, this website will tell you, this is on GitHub. This will tell you all of the possible um, like functions you can use, the functions that are compatible with Mix It Up. So I'm guessing his name is said Peter Der Derike. Uh, if I said your name wrong, or is it, no, sorry, D. Reich. Okay, uh, if I said your name wrong, uh, apologies. Now, in our particular case, the the function that I used was in standard functions. It's called random. Okay, I had to do a, I had to play with it a little bit to understand how to use it. But uh, yeah, I'll be able to demo how that'll work. Now, what it says is generate a random double value between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. Now, I'm gonna guess what a double value is. Is it some sort of decimal number? Because it says 0, 0.0 and 1.0. But even if that's the case, um, pulling a random alert 
worked pretty consistently for me, so I'm not concerned about that um, until otherwise, you know, disproven. But um, yeah, so I put random four, and so what that's going to do is it's going to pull us a random number between one and three. Okay. Um, now we're going to make it globally usable so that we don't have the issue that we would have with the uh, random number identifier so that if it pulls a three, it'll be a three for the first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. That's why we want to make it globally usable. And we're saying is math expression because this is going to be math. It's going to be a number. It's not, it's not going to be text. Okay. Now, as far as these conditionals, I'm using the variable that I created, some number. If it's equal to one, then play this sound, nani. Okay. Conditional two. If some number is equal to two, then play this one, fight from Mortal Kombat. And then conditional three, if some number is equal to three, then play this sound, on fire from NBA Jam. Okay. So that's pretty much all you have to do to, um, you know, make a channel punch reward that plays a random alert. In my case, it doesn't have to be sound. That's what I used. You can use any of these actions here. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and demo it. Make sure it works. Let's save this. And let's go back over here. Uh, as you can see, I've been playing with it. I've been testing it. But uh, here we go. Fight. Fight. He's on fire! Nani? Okay, there you go. There are all three alerts that I've added, uh, but it's on one channel points reward, and it comes up randomly. So that's pretty much it. Let's go do a quick rundown just to make sure everything's clear, uh, and then that'll be it. Okay, so we created the channel points reward, call it RNG alert. We click on the pencil to modify it. We added a globally usable special special identifier so that the same number will be accessible to all three conditionals. We created our three possibilities. We reference our variable, our special identifier that we created, set it to one for the first one, two for the second one, three for the third one, and we set our unique sound that we want to play uh, for each conditional, uh, depending on you know whatever that number is when it's pulled. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, if anything was unclear, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and I guess if this was helpful, uh, like the video. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you for watching. Adios.